Welcome back to another episode of the Whiskey Diaries. My name is Martin Lang. Today we are going to be talking about Red Spots, which is part of the Mitchell Sons releases as a bonded whiskey. We have done a couple of uh, videos on two of the green spots and one of the yellow spots. And the red spot, we just got it directly from the UK. You cannot get this one in Australia. So I'm very excited because I've been reading a lot about this whiskey in particular. Now, just to refresh you in case you haven't watched those videos, uh, basically Mitchell and Sons is the equivalent of Johnny Walker or Chivas Regal in Scotland back in the 1800s. Back in the day, uh, whiskey distilleries, they didn't use to bottle and label the whiskies on site. They actually used to grab the barrels, put the whiskey in the barrels and sell it to distributors, to basically shops like tea shops or pubs or whatever it was. In this particular case in Dublin, uh, there was a little bit of a, people were being dodgy, like people, let's just say I'm the distiller and I used to sell my, my, uh, my cask of whiskey to a certain pub. The pub would lie about the age, will my whisk it with something else cheaper to make it last longer and so on. So there was no quality control. Some other, some other uh, distributors were actually really well renowned to really care about the craft and, and, and make sure that they respected the story themselves. One of them was Mitchell and Sons. Now, they became really popular back then because they used to mark all the barrels uh, with the age by putting uh, spots with different type of color paint. So the blue spots that I haven't actually been able to try, I'm not sure if it's a bellow, was a seven year old whiskey. Uh, the green spot was a 10 year old whiskey. The, the yellow spot was a 12. And then this one that is a red spot is a 15 year old. Now, the, this one in particular gets aged in three types of casks, which is a bourbon cask, a sherry cask, and a marsala cask. Marsala type being a type of wine as well. 46% uh, ABV, non-chill filtered. Uh, this is a whiskey that it would be exceptional as well. And being uh, Irish whiskey as well, this is a single pot Irish whiskey, which means it's the equivalent of single malt. We talked in other whiskey uh, in other videos about the single pot differences and all that stuff, but basically just to refresh your memory, single pot means it comes from a single distillery, uh, aged and bottled in a single distillery as well, similar to basically a single malt. Now, most Irish whiskey is actually triple distilled, this one as well, uh, and as I said, 15 years old and triple maturation. Now, there we go, so just brand new open. I have actually haven't tried this whiskey. Uh, the back of the label basically tells you all the notes and everything that you're expecting to, to taste. So sweet red pepper, cooked fruit, baked apple, but it's up to you at the end of the day. Tasting a whiskey, like I always say, it is very, very sub subjective. The color of the bottle is incredible as well. I really like the combination because the sherry really brings a little bit of red hue that actually matches the bottle. It's a great, it's, I think it's a great, great packaging. The aroma, you definitely get that Irish triple distillation smell, kind of like similar to what Red Breast has as well. Oh, that's delicious. You definitely get the peppery notes. There's a little bit of vanilla and toffee from the uh, from the American oak, uh, and a little bit of also also spiciness from from the sherry. Almost there's almost like a tannic uh, aftertaste probably from the wine casks as well. So absolutely beautiful whiskey. This is not too expensive as well. You can get it from Masters of Malt or the Whiskey Exchange from the UK directly. Uh, comes up after you pay duties and everything. You, you end up paying probably $150, $180 per the, per the bottle. But it's an absolutely delicious whiskey. Highly recommended. Thank you very much for listening, guys. Slange bar. And make sure that if you have any recommendations or any whiskeys in particular that you want us to review, uh, you just let us know.